Before you actually begin building your website, it's important that you understand the overall web development process. In this video, you're going to discover the seven steps that will take you through building your website from start to finish. The first step is research. And the sort of things you'll need to do are to define the subject and purpose of your website. In other words, are you going to be selling products or services? Is it an information website where you'll give information uh, about yourself or an organization that you're part of? In other words, what is your website actually about? You'll also need to determine who your actual target audience is. Where can you find them? What are they talking about on the internet? You'll need a sort of information later on so you'll be able to actually get people to come to your website. If you're in business, you'll need to do some competitor analysis, starting with who your competitors actually are. Once you've done this part of your research, you'll also need to start determining what site name are you going to have for your website? What domain name are you going to have? And quite often the domain name and site name end up being the same. You also need to do some research on various hosting providers. Now, as part of the research process, we highly recommend that you download the web discovery document that you'll find on the next page. The web discovery document is a series of questions that have been specifically designed to help you uncover all those sort of questions that we just went through and help you become clear on your site purpose, what you want to achieve with it and how you'll actually achieve that. Once you've completed all of that, it's time to start the planning. You'll need to organize what your visitor actions are actually going to be on the website. In other words, when your visitors come to your website, what actions do you want them to take? What sort of features will you have on the actual website? It's a good idea at this point to start creating a site map and also start collecting the actual content for your website. Once you've prepared all the planning part of your project, you can actually commence on the design stage. As part of the design stage, you'll be looking at things such as choosing a color scheme, deciding on the overall style of your site, you're designing a page layout and a wireframe, and as well as designing your navigation system, the pages and page links. Once you've completed your design brief, you're then ready to actually start creating the website. So as you can see, there are three stages that you should be going through before you even attempt to create the website itself. Now, when you are creating the website, start by creating your graphics, especially your header, footer, background graphics, and then any other page graphics that you're going to use across all your pages. Once you've created all the graphics, you can start creating a page template. And the next step is of course to create your pages and fill them with the content. Once you've done all of this, you've essentially got a complete website and it's time to begin actually testing. And the sort of things you'll look for are spelling mistakes, checking for broken links, you'll then upload your actual website to the internet and you'll test it in a live environment. Once you're happy that you've got the basic website up and running and your basic content on your site and everything's working fine, it's then time to begin driving traffic to your website. Now what we mean by driving traffic is basically getting visitors to your site. You see, simply putting up a website on its own probably won't result in a lot of website visitors visiting. There's certain work that you'll need to do, such as setting up a pay-per-click working on search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is the process of getting your website listed on the first page of various search engines. You'll be doing other marketing activities, perhaps such as submitting articles or sending emails out, and also setting up strategic alliances with other business or website owners. Now that your website's up and running and that you're driving traffic to it, you'll need to make sure that you maintain the website. And some of the things that you'll be looking at are continuously adding good and relevant content to the website. 
as well as testing and measuring various traffic generating strategies. Once again, by traffic generating strategies, we're talking about testing and measuring the various ways in which you get people to visit your website, tweaking them a little bit, bit by bit, and improving those so overall you have a lot of visitors coming to your website. On the next page, you'll be able to download the web discovery document and watch a video which will help you complete the document step by step.